There is nobody who loves you, who will spread or entertain or encourage you to discuss your husband negatively. I remind you, I emphasize, I repeat, every other woman who encourages you to discuss wrong things about your husband, she is not acting in your best interest. Identify her as an enemy tonight. This is one of the phone numbers you need to delete and I can help you do it. I have no emotions deleting such phone numbers. Every time you engage your husband intimately, you send a strong signal, you respect him. The converse is also true. The moment you manipulate your husband sexually, in fact, I define it this way, that's witchcraft. Witchcraft is in a form of control and manipulation. So you are a witch if you've been controlling <laughs> your husband sexually. And today I'll be praying for witches so that they live here as saints. I feel the anointing. <laughs> in other words, your body, the Bible says, is not your own. For both of you, it belongs to the other person. And the moment you share love, you're sending a strong signal, I need you. I value you. I appreciate you. The opposite is rejection. I don't need you. I think these needs are satisfied elsewhere. You don't deserve me. Now, I think I need to throw a few points right now. Because whenever men don't feel respected, they don't love their wives. So what do I suggest to every woman listening to me? Hold your husband in high regard. Praise him. Speak highly of him. It doesn't matter where he is right now. It's a beginning point. Believe me, every man you see on this planet has potential to achieve their maximum potential if only they are celebrated by the women in their lives. If you continually celebrate your man, there's nothing you two will not achieve. Encourage him. Support his vision. You know, some women, when a man comes home and says, look, I think I'm going to put up a hotel. The first thing, what have you ever done with your life? <laughs> Simply because too many projects have failed doesn't mean the next one will fail. Sometimes it takes eight projects to fail for one to succeed. I've talked about the Pareto principle. And roughly, at most 20% of projects succeed. So support his vision. Be his cheerleader. He's harassed in the marketplace. There is no mercy there. For those who are employed, for men it's very humiliating when they have a woman as a boss who tears them emotionally. And then she comes home expecting you to cheer him up. And then, to his rude surprise, you continually continue with the devil's assignment of fixing him more. From today henceforth, decide to partner with God and cheer him up. You make the enemy to lose. Every time you encourage someone, the enemy loses.